done watching Don Bluth's 1989 animated classic, All Dogs Go to Heaven, starring Burt Reynolds, Don DeLuise, Judith Barcy, Vic Tabak, and Charles Nelson Reilly. Uh, this one I have watched so many times. Uh, I, I've loved it since I was a kid, and I still love it now. Um, it basically uh, it tells the story of um, uh, Charlie B. Barkin, a, a German Shepherd, and his uh, best friend uh, Itchy, who kind of escaped from uh, the pound where they were uh, locked up after being set up by uh, uh, their kind of boss slash partner Carface, uh, played by uh, voiced by uh, Vic. Uh, my mind's gone blank, sorry. <laughs> so, um, uh, voiced by Vic Tabak. So, anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, they get out and they go see their, their, you know, car face and that, not realising that he set them up. Uh, uh, Charlie knows that he was set up, but he doesn't know who by. Um, so, uh, car face is kind of pissed off and everything and, um, he wants to off Charlie basically so uh, he does that but what it um uh, Charlie goes up to heaven and uh, he finds a watch which is apparently uh, connected to his life force and um, he says oh why can't you just wind it up and and the angel in heaven is just like no 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 you know you can't do that and, and if you you know the idea is that if he does then he will never be able to go back to heaven again that he'll go to uh, hell so he winds the watch up anyway and he comes back to life and um, he uh, finds out with uh, Itchy that um, Carface has this uh, has kidnapped this little girl, um, played by uh, voiced by Judith Barcy. I keep saying played, uh, voiced by Judith Barcy, um, Anne Marie, who um, can actually communicate with animals, can can understand what they're saying. So it turns out Carface is using her to rig uh, the rat races that he's uh, you know taking get, uh, the bettings from and stuff. So uh, Charlie kind of kidnaps her and, and tries to, his way of getting back at uh, Carface is to, you know, one, one upmanship kind of thing. So he uses Anne Marie and all she wants is a, a family, uh, you know, people to call mummy and daddy kind of thing. So um, it's basically that kind of story and, and stuff and, you know, sacrifice and you know, she gets used and that, and she realises it and doesn't like it and stuff like that. So, um, this is, <laughs> what I love about this movie is it's, um, it's a universal rating, it's a kid's movie, but oh my god, is this dark? Uh, I am not even kidding, we have, now you think, oh, it's dogs, oh, everybody loves dogs, except these dogs are gambling, smoking, drinking, um, <laughs> everything that you would not necessarily want your kids to be subjected to, um, you know, these are not very, what I love is when they go, to, you know, Charlie goes to heaven, um, you know, the angel is like, oh, all dogs go to heaven because unlike humans, they're innocent and untied. You know, it's that kind of <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, whatever. Um, but um, it's it's really dark. It deals, you know, I mean, we're on about murder and, and stuff like that. And just, <laughs> it blows my mind that this is a kid's movie. That being said, seriously, if you have children and they have not seen this movie yet, make them watch it. Uh, it is brilliantly, uh, it's a brilliant story. I mean, it's not, it's not without its flaws, um, but it's really enjoyable. Um, the songs, eh, they're okay. They're not very well sung. Um, Burt Reynolds um, and Dom DeLuise, they have a great, um, an amazing kind of uh, companionable uh, banter. Um, and they don't really sing the songs, they just kind of speak them slightly in tune. Um, so, but, 
you know, you get into these characters so much, it kind of doesn't bother you. Um, there's some of like, what's mine is yours, uh, about sharing, um, that I feel is completely pointless. Uh, and of course this movie um, is known for the uh, big lipped alligator moment where it, you know, they have this uh, just randomly put in um, this big alligator. I don't know if they thought this movie is set in New Orleans. What is New Orleans for? The bios and that. Let's put in an alligator. We haven't got it anywhere else in this movie. Let's put one in. And they just do. And it has a song. <laughs> which is annoyingly probably one of the better songs of the whole movie um and and and, and then it just disappears and the only reason why that i mean they had a moment like that in freddy as fro7 with nessie where they had a song for no reason and it never got spoke about again um but the only reason why this scene is here is to essentially like and put in the most flamboyant of deus ex marketers ever in that this this music loving alligator that was gonna eat charlie and Anne marie just because he loves charlie's howl he loves music so when charlie howls later on by which i mean like five minutes after this bizarre scene the alligator comes back to deal with the bad guys and I'm just like really? really? Just... if I was going to have any complaint about this movie it would be that and that a couple of songs do feel completely unnecessary um, but I think they put the songs in um, to kind of dazzle you away from the very dark content as I said I don't know if that's just to appease the parents you know, can you imagine them sat there, you know, in front of their kid in front of the movie and then they come back and they're like, oh, it's a nice song on Walk Away and then they're smoking, drinking. <laughs> Murder. Um, you know, it's that kind of thing. You do wonder. But um, no, I mean, as a kid, I love this movie. Um, and you would think that after the amount of times I've seen it um, and watching it now as an adult that I would be, oh, really? Is that it? You know. But I'm not. I still really enjoyed it. I didn't even get distracted and start like playing on my tablet or anything. I was just, I still enjoy watching it and I still bawl my eyes out at the end. Honestly, I was certainly just going, <gasps> um, it was that. It still gets you right there all these years later, even though no matter how much you watch it, you know what happens at the end and stuff. Just still really gets me. Uh, in the chest there but no this is a really fun movie if you like animated movies like i say it is flawed but it is still fun and like i say the banter between uh burt reynolds and dom deloise as charlie and itchy it is really fun and even the kid playing um actually i don't know if she was a kid at the time or if it's just a woman uh playing a kid uh i didn't bother looking that up but um the the girl playing um Anne Marie is really good um I don't think she was singing the song there is a song that Anne Marie sings like halfway through which is very reminiscent of um somewhere out there from an American tale um which kind of made me go oh really um it's nowhere near as good as somewhere out there but um <laughs> it's just there uh, and it's kind of sad and like I say it's her dream and that she had animation again it's not greatest but it, it's beautiful colour palette beautiful uh, designs etc but yeah no if you haven't I just recently discovered there were people that I thought would have seen this that actually had never even heard of this movie um, and to them I say shame on you um, <laughs> But no, um, please, if you get a chance, especially if you've seen stuff like American Tale, Secret of Nim, uh, Don Bluth's other stuff, um, if you get the chance, if you love animated films, if you like, if you like slightly dark animated films, uh, it's only an hour and 20 minutes long, so, and that's with credits, so, um, it's not too long, um, 
and it's just a lot of fun and really heartwarming at the end. Um, but please, if you get a chance, do check out 1989's All Dogs Go to Heaven. Uh, it's a great movie. Uh, that was my movie for tonight. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, but for now, this is Sketch, signing out.